Hello YouTube, Nodvik here, a uh, second time recording this video. I accidentally forgot to enable sound recording a moment ago. Um, <clears throat> I'm just showing this guy here, he's a friend of an admin of a server I play on, a few things about redstone, and I was making a counter, and when I was lining the reset line I was trying to do something new to see if it would work as well, and I ended up accidentally turning it into a binary counter. So. Yep, so one, one zero, one one, one zero, uh oh, he's lagging again. This is his server locally hosted on his computer, so it's a bit laggy. One zero one, one one zero, one one one, and one zero zero, and so on and so forth down the line until it gets uh, to one one one, one one one, and then it resets to all zeros. And so it's a basic um, counter, er, piston counter you've probably seen before but at the very end I added this extra block going over here and I have a one and a two tick repeater connected to the same redstone line and it, to extend the one tick pulse at the end to two ticks it goes into this two tick repeater so it'll only go off if it receives both ticks sends down the line two tick repeater so it'll only work if it receives two ticks of delay and so on down the line and then over here I have a quick monostable circuit which sends the poles up the line and now I will show you how to build this right quick uh, go right here a nice clean spot you start off with blocks with two empty spaces in between each one uh, there's, so you have one block, two block to as many as you want to count up, I'll just do four this time I suppose then you leave an empty line and put two blocks in each spot, sorry about the Skype I put it, so yeah, in, in between where those would be, you put blocks. Next, you need sticky pistons, one on each block, and then break out the blocks beneath. God dang it, I'm going to turn Skype off next time, I swear, I promise. And from there, you need a repeater facing from the earlier pistons to the next pistons down the line on each one of these sets. And redstone, redstone, redstone on all of them. And I'm going to need to add one extra one here, like so. And then that will be the ending. And then on the end of each one of these redstone uh, lines, you put a repeater. Stone here and a repeater and a repeater and this 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 oh wait I need to back it up one so I need a repeater here dust that's not dust dust here God dang it sorry my friend is drunk I told him not to freaking message me in the next couple minutes but he's completely not paying attention. That. I need a repeater on three ticks and just some dust. Some dust. And that is your monostable circuit if you have a button. Bang. That is a button. So there's that. Next, you need to put blocks, and of course, you can do whatever monostable circuit you prefer. This is just the one I like to build blocks on each one of the sticky pistons and in front of each one of these repeaters. Oops. Yep. Then put a redstone dot on each one of these blocks. And then right there your counter is done, but it's only a normal counter, it's not a binary counter yet. You don't need the back piece, that's just your outputs and the display for the lights, but you put one, two, oops, uh, repeater on two, just like that, repeater on two, redstone in a block. It's a bit expensive, but it's compact and, and it works really well. And what I do for the back part is I put a block behind each one of those uh, redstone, 
a sticky piston on each one of those, a block on each one of those, a sand block or gravel block if you prefer on each one of those, and two blocks out from each sand. On the end I put torches, and then redstone. Ooh, that's some serious lag. Hmm. That's where I put the lights, just past the sand. The sand kind of acts like a uh, faux T flip flop for each one of those lights. And that should be all I need. That should work just fine. Let's find out. I built the monostable circuit backwards though. I want to be able to see what I'm doing. There you have it. Works like a charm. Gotta kind of cope with the lag, but whatever. Turn it through its paces and make sure it resets at the end, just to see. And last one. There you have it. Binary counts are super small, compact, I think. Although it is rather expensive.